Good morning everyone, it's 8 a.m. in the morning and this is the morning tales for June 14, 2019. So I hope you know this person, he is Gajendra Shekhawat. This is the picture of Gajendra Shekhawat and he is the new or the, we could say that the first minister of Jal Shakti ministry. So first Jal Shakti minister is Gajendra Shekhawat. Now this new ministry that is the Jal Shakti ministry has been formed after reorganizing two ministries. The first one is the Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation plus the Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation. So these two ministries have been merged or we could say by reorganizing these ministries this new ministry of Jal Shakti has been formed. Now what is the basic agenda of this? Uh, new ministry that is the Jal Shakti ministry. So it was part of the promise of the BJP government to launch this unified Jal Shakti ministry. The purpose of this ministry is to provide clean drinking water along with fighting the India's water crisis. So these are the two important aims or we could say this is the main uh, function of the ministry of Jal Shakti. So they would be working in the similar areas. It's very important to keep this in mind with uh, any examination you are preparing because this is a new ministry has been formed and new minister for the same has been appointed. Now moving on to the next question. So question tells about the who has been conferred with the Denny K Humanitarian Award. Now Priyanka Chopra has been honored with this Denny K's Humanitarian Award which has been provided or which has been honored to her by the UNICEF. So United Nations International Children's Fund, they, they have this uh, Danny K Humanitarian Award which is given for her contribution towards the social causes. So if you follow Priyanka Chopra on Instagram, you, you would have come across many pictures or many posts where she is sharing the platform with UNICEF for the social cause. Now apart from being working for the social cause of these children, uh, children, she is also working towards raising the voice for children's education. Also she is the UNICEF's good, goodwill ambassador. So it's important to know all these facts about her that now recently she has been uh, awarded with this Denike Humanitarian Award. Also she is associated with many NGOs in India as well. So just to raise awareness about the uh, improvement towards the education, health and safety of girl child in India. So I hope it's clear that Priyanka Chopra has been honored with this Denike Humanitarian Award. So moving on to the next question. So who has won the Women's Prize for Fiction 2019? So the American novelist and the name is Tayari Jones. So Tayari Jones, she has been honored with this uh, Women's Prize for Fiction 2019. And she has actually beaten two Booker Prize winners to take this 2019 Women's Prize for Fiction. Now let's talk about this Women's Prize for Fiction. So first of all, this prize has been given for an American marriage that has been authored by Tayari Jones. So a question could come on the uh, book as well. Now coming to this prize, so this prize is awarded annually and it is just to recognize the literary achievements by the female authors. So as the name suggest, it suggests it is the prize for fiction 2019. It is particularly for the female writers. Therefore, the Yari Jones has been honored for this an American marriage. Moving to the next question. So which ministry has recently launched the DBT Tribal's web portal to streamline the process of scholarship grants? Now, I think it's quite clear and evident from this portal that it's related to the tribals. So the Ministry of Tribal Affairs, they have launched this DBT tribal web portal so that they could streamline and basically uh, fasten the process of scholarship grants by direct bank transfer. So as the name suggests DBT, they would be directly transferring the scholarship amounts to the in the bank accounts of the eligible students. So this web portal is a single platform where the uh, data would be uploaded related to the beneficiaries and the queries and the feedback would be given simultaneously. Also the details of the beneficiaries would be linked to their Aadhaar and the bank account so that the direct bank transfer could be done. So what all is important in this question that the DBT tribal web portal has been launched by the Ministry of Tribal affairs and that to streamline the process of scholarship grants. So another question which could be framed is regarding this DBT tribal web portal, the name of the portal. So now moving on to the next question, which of the following has become the first solar kitchen village in India? Quite interesting question. 
Now there is a difference between solar powered village and solar kitchen village. Now we talk about this Molenong village. So this Molenong village is in Meghalaya and it is the cleanest village of India. So the cleanest village of India is Molenong. Now if we talk about the first solar kitchen village. So Bancha is the first solar kitchen village which is in Madhya Pradesh. So it is in MP and it is the first solar kitchen village in India. Let's talk about this. So it, it is believed that this village has zero wooden stoves and almost no use for the LPG cylinders. And there are approximately 75 houses where they all rely on the solar power to operate their kitchens. So the answer for this question is Bancha. Now move on, moving on to the next village. So Khunama. So Khunama village is in Nagaland and it is believed to be the green village the first green village in india so these are kind of claims as of now but uh, relying on the fact that these claims are not incorrect we'll consider this information correct so kunama is the green first green village in india next is kokari belur so kokari belur is the is famous for the birds so we could say it's the birds uh, village and it is famous for the kokri belur bird Century. So, where is this Kokri Belur bird century located? It is in Karnataka. Now, we talk about this Dharnai village. So, Dharnai village is in Bihar and it is believed to be the first village powered entirely by the solar electricity. That's what I told you in the beginning of this question that there is a difference between the solar kitchen and the difference between the total solar powered village. So, these are some important facts regarding the villages and they can come as a static question in the examination. Moving on to the next question. So, who has been appointed as the new chief of the Indian Meteor Meteorological Department? So, the cyclone man, who is the cyclone man among these options? So, cyclone man Mrityanjay Mohapatra, he has been appointed as the new chief of the Indian Meteorological Department because of the accurate forecast on the cyclones. So, therefore, he is also known as cyclone man. So, the renowned scientist and the cyclone warning specialist Mrityanjay Mohapatra has been appointed as the new chief of the Indian Meteorological Department. Nothing much to discuss but this question is important with respect to the examination. Also, this person is known as the cyclone man because of the accurate cyclone warnings. The next question is, it's the first Arctic train service which is known as Zerin Gold. So, which country has launched the first Arctic train service? Uh, which runs from St. Peters, Petersburg to Norway. So, the answer for this question is Russia and Russia has launched this first Arctic train service which runs from St. Petersburg to the station in Norway. What is the name of the train? So, this name of the train is Zerin Gold. So, this is the train name and the country launching this first Arctic train service is Russia. So, uh, the passengers would be getting a chance to get down on the near the city in the Arctic Circle and explore the area. Now this whole trip would take 11 days in total and allow the passengers to discover the different areas in Arctic region. So the name of the train is important that is Zerin Gold and Russia which has launched this uh, new train is important. Now it's time for you to tell me the answer. So the center has set the target of providing clean drinking water to all by now this is the new target which has been set by the uh, Jal Shakti Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawat and he has set this target to provide clean drinking water to all the people. Now what is the year? So that you need to mention in the comment section that which year has been designated or has been set as the target to provide clean drinking water. Now let's discuss something about this project. So this is uh, the government is actually formulating a plan so that they could provide the clean drinking water to nearly 4, 14 crore households. So this is the target and you need to tell me the year by which they wish to achieve this target. So do not forget to subscribe to our channel Anuj Jindal and I hope you are learning through these morning tales. If you have any uh, queries you can just mention them in the comment section below do not forget to press the bell icon as well as you will be receiving the notification as and when the video is being posted good luck for your NABAT examination and stay tuned for the next video thank you so much for watching the video